right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. Well, I'm at a new location, the final resting location of the Gamer Circle stream for quite a few years, I do believe. So um, I don't have the camera set up because I don't have the lights set up. So hopefully I can get that done today, tonight, something, I don't know. And hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me go over here and check and see if audio is here. Oh, audio, I believe. Oh yes, I have moved the office to the new house, yes. And um, anyways, it sounds like it's good. We're gonna, we're gonna do a test stream today. I wanna make sure everything's working because I have a story to tell. So again, the camera, hopefully I'll get it online. Um, I'm gonna try to work on it today. But um, I thought I would do a, I've never played anything but a human in Stationeer. So I thought I'd do a single player um, robot. Oh, thank you, Torts. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, um, our prediction is that at the end of this month, so not too many days, is that it'll be, uh, when I say livable, it's it's livable, but there's some spots that still need some some touch up paint. There's one room that needs the sailing, the, the sailing, the ceiling needs to be finished painting. Uh, ran into a little bit of a hiccup with the uh, new shower. So I'm waiting for the silicone to cure up. Silicone, silicone, the, the, the caulking. Is that the house you've been working on? Yep, that's the one gopher, yep. I am here right now. So basically I rolled out of bed, put on some clothes, drove over here, took a shower here. So it's it's very doable, but like I said, there's, um, since we've been doing some stuff, you know, uh, painting, doing some sheetrock work, there's a little bit of dust on the ground, on the floor and stuff like that. The carpets need a good vacuuming since they've been installed and stuff like that. So, um, we're gonna go moon, I said, right, moon, yeah. So new world, oh, moon, 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 moon. Sure wish we could fly one of those, that would be really cool. Um, so normal, you need to work hard to keep yourself alive. Planning into the future keys for real food, water. I'm a robot. Oxygen, well, uh, more relaxed with lower oxygen food. Does it matter as a robot? What do you guys think? I can still die. We're gonna go with normal. Can I create a new save with the same name of the existing? What? Oh, 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 sorry. All right, so we'll call this um, Moonbot. There we go. Great. All right, so hang on, let me lock my mouse here. There we go. Hey, wait, I have never, <gasps> I don't even have a suit on. I'm a naked robot. Oh, that's embarrassing. And I don't have a headlight. Hey, Silver, what's up? Um, wait, all right, so one, two, three. <laughs> okay, four. What the heck is that? A repair kit? Oh, oh, right, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm giggling at myself here. Oh, that's the red flares, gotcha. All right, um, hang on. Let me drop that off. Drop those off. I gotta get my belt, belt belt all squared away. Put that up there. Uh, open that up. Put, where is it? Where, oh, there it is. That there. Is there, um, it's such a different start quite the, it's weird because I've only done human. So it's what I need to do is find, um, oh, this is gonna be so weird not having any headlight. I have no light. Um, what am I looking for? I don't have to worry about, oh, there's batteries. I'm gonna need those. Hey, Winds, what's up? What are these? Water bottles. I don't need water bottles. Oh, that, that's cool. All right, sweet. What am I looking for? I am looking for uh frames all right so what we're gonna do 
is I think we're gonna start. I don't need night vision now. This is gonna be our power generation. We're gonna come over a spot. One, two, three. Uh, I'm still gonna make a safe building. Oh, the night vision is a drain. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't. What I don't like here. Hang on. Hang on. This is a. Uh, there we go. That's what I want. All right. So, uh, need this. And we only do one, two, three. So these. And yes, I'm going to use the moon as my locker. <laughs> so is everything coming across okay? Do you guys have any hiccups in the uh, frame rate? Do you see anything wrong? Voice, I know there's no camera. Looks smooth, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so... Um, I appreciate the feedback, guys. Now, it might sound a little echoey. I'm in a bigger, actually a smaller room. But there's hardly anything in here except for, well, me. So. Perhaps even better without the camera. Oh, okay, you'll get one of those. Um, um, what am I looking for here? No, oh yeah, might as well. No, no, not that, where's the sheets at? Last sheets. Would you like some cream for that burn? Ow. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> All right, uh, we need to weld. Let's get... So I'm, I'm just following my normal uh, thing to do here. Yeah, well, yeah, that'll, that'll be interesting. Now that the uh, regular pipes are gonna be impacted by cold, especially on the moon. I wanna say mun. But uh, Ben and I will be back next Sunday in a, in, a, in a multiplayer. I don't remember, that's gotta be part of it too, that new, ooh, that's weird. All right, drop that. Wait, no, I need that go so we're gonna put the generator there and eventually solar panels over here uh the worst part is whenever i hear mun i instantly translate it to moon due to ksp the, uh me too me too me too all right so um um put this away oh no 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 no, no, I need a, I need a work platform. So let's do the work platform. Like, I don't know here, I guess. Probably not going to have enough frames. So let's, um, let's get this out, switch this to flatten. Let's go to work. I'm a little robot and I'm doing some work. It looks so weird having no clothes on. Alex would be interested to see that naked robot. I'm kidding. Oh, I get, I got little servos as I walk around. Oh, that's cool. Okay, where is my, where's my battery at? How do I find my, is it in my pack? Oh, there it is, no. Guys, slot five. Oh, it's in my, oh, I see, I see, I see. Thank you. I keep, I, I have no clothes on. <laughs> I have no clothes on. 
Game Circle, do not forget to recharge some batteries. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, that, that's going to be my first priority. Usually I go for food, right? But right now I'm setting up a little platform for the solid generator, which I have no coal for, but, you know. Family friendly, sir. No walking without clothes. I'm a robot. All right, let's, um, so while there's still some sun out, um, let's drag the tractor there and make sure it works. Oops. Not if I drop it. Oh, got to turn it on. There it is. All right. Um, let's uh, put that away. Let's change to that. I need to go find some coal. Not water. Not oxide. Coal. There's some coal. Oh, there's some coal too. Run a move. God, that looks so weird. Ah, oh, so weird. All right. So. Oh. Oh, wait, that won't work. So we got to set that to default. All right, so I got a story to tell you guys. You guys ready for this? It's Alex Saves the Day. So, um, Saturday, no, no, Friday night, um, I did a little work over here. Uh, I worked on the shower after the stream. Um, I, again, we ran into a little bit of a leak. Not a, not a big one, an actual little leak. Not little leak, but a leak. And uh, so I said, okay, we can do some more silicone, no problem. And uh, we're using clear, so it looks nice, you know. I don't like having no flashlight on. Oh, I can make a headlamp. I hope I could. Yeah, 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 I can put a headlamp on. Anyways, so I was over here, and then after work, Alex came over here, and we did a little bit more work and whatnot. And then um, I said, you know what? I don't want to spend all day Saturday. That's her only day off because she does work on Sunday except for today um, so I told her I don't want to take your whole Saturday up with moving stuff I go let's do it tonight it's Friday night um, sure it's the beginning of the weekend but let's save most of the weekend because Saturday she was going to uh, uh, the mall with her daughter it's uh, back to school shopping and they're having lunch and, and all that kind of stuff so um, in the morning on Saturday, the only thing we had was my chair, the desk, and a couple boxes. And that was it. Just a couple cable boxes. And uh oh. Oh, thank God. I didn't think I had a jetpack. So, so, um. We, oh, I need to turn that off. Whoa! It is so freaking dark out here. Sorry, I scared myself. Um, so f Saturday morning, we got up. Uh, loaded up the desk, brought that over, got the chair, brought that over, ran into a snag. The 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 hatch on the escape would not open. So we had to, uh, on the uh, uh, on the inside, we were able to open up the glass hatch so we could get to the, the uh, what do you call it? The plastic inside, the interior plastic. And then we found a video that showed us how to do a manual release. That's not coal. Is that coal? Yep. Um, so anyways, that, that took about an extra 45 minutes just to move two basic things over here. Uh-oh. I'm lost. Oh, there it is. So I got over here. Uh, Alex went back, you know, started her day with her daughter. So it left me here. I, I had lunch. I had breakfast here. I had food here wasn't starving and uh so i set up the desk measured to make sure there's enough room for the two of us um set up the monitor my computers had to be completely cleaned because well you know what ha why do i have oxide oh well i have oxide um so i had to um take the computers apart take them outside use a compressor blow them out because they were terrible and after I showed pictures and told uh, Alex about it, she said, okay, so twice a year, we're gonna set it up to where we take him outside. And I go, ah, I'm fine with that. Um, I'm going to look 
for the solid generator, which is not there. So anyways, um, we, uh, um, so she, she left me into my own devices. I, I just kind of took my time because I didn't want to rush through anything. Uh, the night before we had labeled all my cables, uh, took a picture. So that way we knew how everything was going to work up. The, the biggest hurdle that I was going to have was not the physical demand of putting all the monitors, all the lights, putting everything back on the microphone, all that. it was over here. We've had a basic spectrum internet setup. So I had to hook up a new router, which was identical to our router over at the other house. And this is what I did. This is where the story gets interesting. Um, so I, I, um, I had the new router. I got power to it. I unplugged the um, connection that goes from the cable modem to their router. So I unplugged the, the network connection. Oh, it's running low. Where is the solid generator? Keep forgetting where it should be. Auto lathe, furnace, solid generator, I found it. Um, so um, I did that, I and then I plugged it into the new router. Where do I wanna put this? Let's put the generator, the output. Um, that way, I guess. Sweet. Let me um, dig a little tiny hole. All right. So, um, and I, I ran into all sorts of network issues. So I, I did a factory res reset on the router, got to the router, reset it. I had internet, but the Wi-Fi was giving me all kinds of problems. I, I could get connected, I would have internet, I wouldn't have internet, some things would get connected, some things wouldn't. I went, man, what is going on? And I was over here struggling with the Wi-Fi stuff because you know we've got certain devices that need to be connected and stuff like that. I'm struggling, I go, I don't know what's going on. I'm just getting a little frazzled. And and I told Alex, you know, she had gotten back. I said, can you come over here and give me another set of eyes on what I might be doing wrong? Well. Alex saved the day because she came over and she couldn't get connected to the Wi-Fi with her phone, but I could. I'm going, oh, that's strange. Uh, the only thing I could figure, and this is wrong, was that routers, not your modems, your routers are different network devices. So they have their own MAC address for the WAN side, not for the LAN side, to the best of my understanding, for, but for the LAN or the, the WAN side. So I thought somehow because it had a new MAC address, devices were getting confused with credentials. Is it every port? Oh, all right. Well, then as Alex was sitting there and I had everything connected, but she couldn't connect. I said, that is so strange. Um, I did have a little problem with uh, the TV, which is a smart TV. And I ended up doing a factory reset that allowed me to get connected. And the moment she said, oh, look, I'm connected, but I don't, ha I don't have internet using the old password. I go, oh, 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 I know what's wrong. Remember, all I did was disconnect the ethernet port out of the back of the old router, the old Wi-Fi router and plugged it into ours. So it was still plugged in. I got it. It was still plugged in, still transmitting, but didn't have access to internet. The moment I unplugged that, Everything went away. All the problems went away. <laughs> um, all right, so I want to, um, I need a, uh, I look different, thanks. Yeah, this is, um, I never did a robot before. How you doing, Joe? Let's get rid of this. I need to uh, find that. Whoa, almost fell in a hole. And um, put that there. Let's grab this. Um, that there. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so we can swap belts. Do 
that, that, and give me that. Yo. So anyways, I struggled for nearly two hours with the Wi-Fi, only to find out I had left the old Wi-Fi router still plugged in, so it was still transmitting the old SSID, which I, I just wanted to use the new SSID, because I would have thought, if I get the new router online with the new Wi-Fi and do all the same credentials, everything should reconnect. And I thought, it should, but because I had the old Wi-Fi router still transmitting it, it was causing all kinds of problems. So drop that, that's off. Let's put that there, Let's grab this. And whoa, we're gonna go um, that, open it. And we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna swap batteries, here we go. And we have some cable. So the input should be there. Okay, let's go get. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I'm not concerned with food. We're gonna put that there, turn that on. Come over here, grab this. That should be charging. Yep, sure. Wait. Now I also have a basic solar panel. Yeah, somewhere. Basic solar panel. So we're gonna put this flat. And I need some glass. Wow, they really work the atmosphere because I don't remember seeing so much drama there For that all right sweet so now when um all I have to concern myself with is going out and getting some more coal. Food production done. There you go. So if you're a robot, you can safely bring boxes in and out of airlocks because there's no suit, right? Plus I haven't been damaged uh, from picking up, you know, when they bounce away, they just bounce away now. They, they fix, hey, there's the sun, yay. All right, so let's go over here. Let's turn off the generator, save the coal. Oh, never mind. So what I need to do is create, instead of a food factory, I need to create a battery factory, battery charging factory or something like that. So red light means no charge is going on. And I know this is not facing the right way. I have it facing up on purpose just to catch the crossover. So uh, there's no camera today. Um, I'm gonna work on it after the stream today. I don't have the lights hooked up. Um, I have no green screen over here. Um, but I will have one on Thursday. Uh, but before the green screen was, we had the room that we used for watching TV and, and do computer games. We uh, put brand new sheetrock up. And as we were doing that, where I was gonna sit, I said, well, instead of painting that wall white, let me paint it green so I can do a green screen. 
You should have two battery slots recharger. Oh yeah, I do, I do. Oh yeah, right, right. I'm just, uh, I'm doing some testing here. There we go, there it goes. All right, yay, so that works, cool. Um, so what should I work on? Uh, how do I, is it alt? How do I, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> um, let's, um, let's get a quick work area here. Nice bald spot. Well, I, because of the uh, DLC, you have different robot heads too. I don't know if you guys knew that. I didn't know that. What is this set to? Set to flat. All right. Oh, oh, it's daytime. I should go out and collect some coal. Um, right. So, uh, beacon battery. Let's uh, swap that out. There's some more better there. There they are. You're getting German ads. Oh, that's so weird. Can you manufacture a new head? I don't know. I've never been a robot before. You're asking some very good questions, sir. So let's uh, change this to default. Swap that. Um, no, you can't. Okay. Oops. All right. So I need coal, iron. Not silver. Wait, let's make sure this is tracking. Oh, I didn't turn the beacon on. Whew. Oh, okay. There you go. Same here. I thought it was because I visited Germany earlier this week. Um, I don't know why you guys are getting German ads. I actually don't have that much control over which ads I have control over frequency, which I haven't changed. Oh, okay, all right. Grab some iron. So I picked up a new game. Um, one, one army, one, oh, right. I forgot what the name of it is, hang on. Hey, let me go to my library here. Home. Uh, one military camp. So I might be trying that out this week. So I still have my alien game, my asthma, uh, this, and Kerbal. So I do have a few games. So no more new games until uh, Starfield. And Alex. Alex was kind enough to gift that to me about, well, well when you could pre-order it. Yeah, not a GC problem for the ads. Um, so our goal is to be moved in by the end of August. I would say moved in 85% beds, linen, all that kind of stuff, dishes, pots, pans, stuff like that. didn't really get that much coal, did I? Need more iron? Copper? What is that? That's not... I'm looking... Yeah. I mean, um... I'm contemplating on doing a Fallout 4 because it just did a huge update. The graphics, the, the, they made it up they made it to where modern computers, not that mine is a modern computer, will be able to uh, have good gameplay. It won't crash as much, I guess. I don't know. But I enjoy playing Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was my favorite Fallout game. I had a lot of fun in New Vegas. What I would love to see is there's a project of putting Fallout New Vegas on the Fallout 4 engine. I've never played Fallout. Now see, Fallout 2, I didn't play. I played um, Fallout 1, 
I played, uh, what was it called? Wasteland, which was Fallout 2-ish. Wasteland is not a Fallout game, but it was the... Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So it gave me the, uh, the Fallout 2 vibe. And then my first experience with actually Fallout with Bethesda um, was on the Xbox 360. And I, I did, I, I completed the game and then they came out with the pit and I didn't like that. Why? Because they took all my stuff. So each time they were gonna come out with DLC and you're gonna lose all your stuff, I said, I don't wanna lose my stuff. So I stopped playing it. And then I read about Fallout New Vegas and I said, oh, it's gonna be the same engine, just gonna have cowboy hats and stuff. I was wrong, but I had moved on to other things. And plus it was very, a financial demand when I was trying to support my console and my PC gaming side, so I made a decision um, using a, a bad game as a as an example. Is I did my very first Steam pre-order, uh, Aliens, Colonial Marines, or something like that. I said, let me pre-order this game, and you could uh, get your download done ahead of time, right? And that was before you had high-speed internet. It was I had. DSL. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with DSL, just that's all there was. But later on when cable was a way to go, um, you know, if your internet server provider allowed you. And at the time we had, it was called, I, I lived in Sacramento, California. So, so we had, it was called SAC cable, cable. Ooh, look at all this. Ooh. Um, anyways, it was very fast and I loved it. But then the company that was doing it went bankrupt. So anyone that had a cable through this company, the Sacramento Cable Company, um, went belly up. So um, Comcast bought them and it took about a week and then we got our internet back. So it wasn't very bad. And then at the time, Comcast wasn't a bite in the butt that they are now. Anyway, so, oh, we're all full. All right, let's head back. Can I see, oh, there it is, okay. Uh, so, so once I knew I could get games, I didn't have to go and buy them and, and store physical copies. I thought, well, this is the way to go. So I became a fan of steam. I was still buying some physical copies. Like I went to midnight openings for like halo two and stuff like that for my console. Hour low. All right, let's turn that off and See what we got going on here. Hey, a fully charged battery. So we can swap and we can put full. That will charge that. Now what I need to do is um, actually not waste all that coal yet. But what we're gonna do is um, We have a little storage bin right here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. For stuff. Tell you what, not having a headlamp is a real disadvantage. You wouldn't think so, but it is. Swap belts. Um, so my platform here, I need to weld. So, aside from having a Wi-Fi pickup, which was fixed by Alex, um, Getting everything online really wasn't that hard. 
I still have got to get the lights, the camera, the green screen. Did that work? Did I get a weld on there or not? I can't tell. Ugh. I think you need the tool fabricator to make the headlamp. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Um, what am I looking for? Not to flatten. Oh, it's on. It's on flat. Ah! There you go. I'm confused. No, it's... There. Now it's on default. Right? There, okay. Alright, that's got a weld. That's got a weld. That's got a weld. Okay, everything's got a weld. Hey, Ben, how you doing? So, Ben and I will be back with the multiplayer next Sunday. It seems like everything's working okay. It looks like audio's coming across. I was doing some testing in Discord and I was having a lot of uh, static, a lot of crinkling noise. So I, I don't know, maybe, I mean, if you guys aren't hearing it here, but it's in Discord, then I have um, an issue in Discord. It just, I, I could hear myself, but there was like, a, it's like a, a loose mic, like a, a broken connection somewhere. So I'll spend a little bit more time on that. Um, drop this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Um, all right, let's get the, um, get the auto lathe. No, the, um, what do you call it? The, um, uh, That's a furnace. We're going to put the furnace. Um, right there. Where's the auto lay that? Auto lathe. Oh, we got to build the auto lathe. All right. Um, we got too many cables. But at least I'm not building a, um, not building a, a farm. So that's a plus. So I didn't want to keep, um, asking Ben to connect, reconnect, not connect. And you know, if I was having issues over here, trying to test connectivity and whatnot, so. I said, hey, let's, uh, I'm just going to do a stationer's test. Yay. And uh, he went, okay. All right, so what do I need to build this? Uh, need a tool for one. Welder. And iron sheets. Okay. Then it needs a uh, cable. Then I need, think it needs plastic or something like that. Uh, and then the screwdriver, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we got an auto lathe. Wait. Let's turn this on. This away. This away before I drop it. All right, we're making iron. So let's go ahead and fire up the coal generator. Solid generator. There we go.
Uh, so, um, yeah, so Alex and I took a very logical approach towards moving my computer and all my equipment. We labeled all the cables, both ends. Uh, we actually put painter's tape on the desk of where the stands were. Um, the only thing I ran into is my mic stand. I have the Elgato low, pro ro low profile mic stand and the part that attached to the desk got really loose. So um, I have a set of Allen wrenches. Oh, that was fast. But because they're inside, and I can't show you because I don't have my camera, because they're inside, you know, it's one of those things where you flip out an Allen wrench. Each time you flipped it out, I am looking for, um, I couldn't get the whole Allen wrench into the slot. So, but lucky for me, my ratchet set also had a, uh, um, had an Allen wrench. So we, we just had to tighten three Allen nuts down and then that worked fine. Otherwise it was very wobbly on the desk. Hey, good afternoon, maniac. Um, let's see. Like I said, my, my night work, my night, my night, my network. Oh, no, all of a sudden I got a beep from my headphones. So I believe my headphones might be, uh, I don't have any speakers. So the only way I can hear the game is I'm using my headphones. Yeah, I know. I know that I know about that. Um, yeah, that worked. Yay. So my head, my my headphones did a, a a tone which you guys didn't hear, which I think tells me low battery, which is unfortunate. Um, I do have a backup, but it would take me some doing to get that plugged in. But primarily today was to test to make sure the stream part worked, and to, I'll, I'll I'll have more audio hooked up, and then I'll work on the camera. Is uh oh I forgot to hit that. All right, so I need to make more frames. Again, it, it might have been just a, a bad signal. Signal? Signal. But what I want to do is I want to have more room work. Oh, just picked up. Turn that off. Over here and turn this off. Save the pull. Excellent. <sighs> so my big night, not my big nightmare, my big network fiasco was um, I left the old router, the old Wi-Fi router plugged in, but disconnected from the network. So it kept transmitting the old SSID and well that was causing problems and i i it did, just didn't dawn on it until alex came over and uh she goes well i'm connected but i don't have no internet and then i went oh 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 oh, oh. i actually said it just like that too okay, set this to flatten let's flatten this look how skinny my legs are We're going to need some copper and some gold. 
All right, so let's do this. Let's turn this off. Um, hey, there's some gold right there. You want to do all your mining during the day. If you're building at night, that way you can see stuff. That's my that's how I do it anyway. <sighs> so anyway, tomorrow uh, I get to do another water test on the shower. We had a couple of spots where water leaked. Not very bad. Um so I reapplied some more silicone to a couple areas where we didn't think we had to put it. So we'll see if it stops there. And because Alex and I installed the shower enclosure, I would like to say for the most part, I'm gonna say it's 95% square plumb, all that kind of stuff, but yeah, there's a, I'm gonna say a gasket because I don't know what to call it. That goes on the bottom of the door that's supposed to give you a seal from the pan in the door. Now, because our walls are not 100% plumb level, um, the gasket makes it very, not very, but kind of hard to close the door. You have to kind of go real slow, a little bit of force, and then it closes. And so we're gonna, we're just gonna let that work and see if it's just a matter of getting things kind of, uh, you know, everything's new, kind of rigid, and we're gonna see if uh, it wears in, you know, a few months. If not, then we're gonna come up with plan B. All right, so all that gold, I really didn't get a whole lot of gold. Oh, there's some more gold. More gold. So on the, uh, whoa. On the silicone uh, tube itself, it does say you can use water on it after 24 hours, but I'm actually just saying 48 hours, just to make sure. Then I, I need to, before we even do that, I have to make sure it's actually bone dry around it. That way I have a true water test. So uh, we're getting close. We're, like I said, the, the end of this month is our, uh, should be able to start moving in sort of thing. And then we want to be moved in by the end of next month. Um, now it's going to be difficult because school starts in two weeks, something like that. But um, Alex has taken um, a week off in September and she did not, I believe she did not plan this around the Starfield release. It just happens to be part of her, uh, part of her vacation. We're not going anywhere. We're going to use it to move stuff. All right, so still looking for, we'll get some coal. This is always the hardest part. This is what I usually do offline, so you guys aren't bored to death watching me just look for stuff. But I know Red Munchkin has done a robot before. So this is my first time. I've always done a human. I think the alien is going to be more challenging because he needs hydrogen to breathe or something like that. Plus he has to eat. And I know there's plants you can grow to give you the hydrogen.
Hey, Fluffy, good morning to you. So yeah, a test stream from the new location, the new permanent streaming location for Gamer Circle. It's been uh, the house that we've been renovating since October of last year. The Hades planet is what they, oh, is that, oh, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I didn't, I, I didn't even know that was a plant. It's the alien plant though, right? I do, I do remember them introducing the alien. Whoa, I don't want that. Whoa, look at me, I'm jumping. The grindy stuff. See, I don't mind a lot of games that have a grind for the most part. I don't mind it because people that spawn in stuff and build stuff, I, I think they, they miss the appreciation of what it takes to do something. So today we're going to do some uh, painting. Um, should be able to get a nice couple of coats on. Uh, we're, we're painting the ceiling because it was, well, it's a tongue and groove ceiling, but because it's so old, it's slightly dingy and yellow. So by putting a fresh coat of paint white on it, it makes it look really nice. Um, and then I think I'm going to also swap out um, a light receptacle. Before, before Furnish gets here, I don't want to put a whole bunch of uh, debris. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I got my fill, and this is going to date me slightly. You guys know how old I am. When I played Doom and found out there was cheat codes you could put in, oh, I had fun for like a, a good hour. But after that, I was going, oh, I think I just ruined the game. And people go, no way. Uh, yeah, way. All right, so the sun's getting ready to go down. Let's go back and start doing some stuff. Would like to get some more gold though. Here I am scooping up copper. I'm, I'm still, ugh, what's wrong with my body? I didn't get that far. I didn't even turn on the... Dang, I could have died. Oh. Yeah, didn't do that right. All right, so let's go over here, swap our battery. And before I start charging it, I'm going to get the battery charger out. So let's put... Uh, drag this here, drag that there. Not a real good haul. Um, the battery charger is right there. We're going to put that there. Let's fire up the generator. Some, some 
gold. It's going to take a while to smelt. Oh, there's uh, iron in there. All right, let's get the iron smelted. When you remove the empty battery, why don't you die? I swapped it. I didn't quite remove it. Yeah, Ren, I'm just doing a test stream. Today, I'm, I'm actually streaming from the new house. So on Friday night and Saturday morning, we did, uh, um, we moved my office equipment. So I wanted to get over here and do a, a test stream. And I wanted to do something I could experience new, like a robot character. I'm a dooski. So next Sunday, I'm pretty sure uh, we'll be back with, um, uh, we'll be back with, uh, uh, Ben in multiplayer. So if I drop the battery. Power critical. Cognition low. All right. We're good. All right, so the stuff I don't need, where did I put that stuff? Oh, over here, yeah, okay. So I don't really need the network analyzer chip yet. Oh. I don't know why I put that there. So what I'm gonna do is make an electronic printer I want to make another arc furnace so I can smelt stuff faster. Ooh, can I make one already? Arc furnace. Well, there we go. Anyone ever watched a movie called Kelly's Heroes? It's got an all-star cast. It's got Donald Sutherland, Clint Eastwood, Don Rickles, uh, Telly Savalas, um, Carol O'Connor. Okay, when I say all star cast, I mean, you know, 70s, 80s. <laughs> Donald Sutherland. His character. Oh my God, it's so funny. this here there we go and let's go oh whoa, whoa, okay that's all i need we'll just put that right there oh it was a fantastic movie i watched it at least once a year it is so funny Then we want to do some cabling. Put that on, grab. All right, all right, cut it out. Come here. Oh, go there. All right. 
There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Hmm. <sighs> You know, I thought that when you hovered your mouse over the solid generator, didn't it didn't give you a, like a tick count of how much coal was in there. Thought it did. That's done. So, gold. There. This on. Printer, electronic printer, and now we need copper. Doggone it. <laughs> Let's get uh, um, iron going here. Now, what's what's kind of unusual is uh, we don't have any curtains in the house. So over the over some of the rooms, it ain't easy being green. No, no, it ain't easy being a robot. Mason here, what's up? Um, for most of the windows, we've got uh, old sheets covering them, so the the curtains and curtain rods haven't been purchased or installed yet. But in the room I'm in, streaming. There's one window that's open and usually we have uh, blackout curtains. So to look outside and see the sun, it, it's kind of weird. I know, I'm a hermit. All right, so that, that's done. What else can we... Do I have more gold in here? Oh, a bit more gold. There we go. Uh, wait a minute. Hang on. Can't do the... Oh, we need copper. We got copper in there. Oh, sorry. Right. Oh, okay. I'm having having some visual issues there. There we go. All right. Mason here. How the heck are you doing? So I'm just doing a, a test stream from the from the new house. Um. Making sure all the network stuff is all worked out. I think for the most part it is. It's it's kind of ugly. So electronic printer, there we go. Well, you know, when you're in a room where you stream, so you can't have any, you have to control your sun. You know, got to control the light. So where I used to sat, there was a window off center, but I had a blackout window over it. The other w window in the room had a blackout window over it also. Hey, speaking of the sun, let's um, save the generator. Creepy. Let's turn this off, turn this off for now. So we're gonna put the uh, electronic printer next to this. Oh, is there already a frame? Oh, I can't put it because that's there. All right, so we'll put it over here. I need another frame. I finally saved my Vulcan base from being destroyed by the phase changes and pipe volume nerfs. Mostly pollutants were the problem. Quickly turning to liquid, destroying the pipes, then heating up the base and everything catching fire. Ah, uh, I, um, I don't think that my multiplayer save with Ben is going to have a problem. I don't think we'll, we'll figure it out. 
But Vulcan, Vulcan and, and Venus, those are tough, tough planets, you know? So I want to put this over here. Okay, that'll work. I just have to... I want to make uh, frames. Some of those going. We got to go out and do some excavating. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, congrats on that, uh, that Mason. I I don't have the skill set. I don't have the mindset to. Uh, for me, Mars M Mimus is the biggest challenge for me because of power generation, especially when a, with a robot too. Okay, let's stop making those. Power low. I know, I know. Complete this. That there. Um, okay, we're at 50%, that's fine. I really have to get out and do some mining. Need to get some more gold, some more copper, and some more iron. <laughs> well, it's single player, so I'm gonna say no. How's that? All right, let's actually get this out. Let's swap to that. And let's go turn this on. Last time we did not. Default. Okay. Need to find gold and copper. Which I don't seem to be finding. Oh, there's some copper right there. Yay. Yay. So learn from my mistakes, okay? If you ever change a location and you decide to go with a, a new router, make sure you completely unplug the old router because I, I wasted about a, a, an easy hour and a half to two hours having Wi-Fi issues, getting things connected that wouldn't connect, that wouldn't get internet, because I took a methodical process of saying, okay, let me unplug the, the, let me plug in the new router, make sure it powers up, there's no errors, good, no errors, good. And then unplugging the network cable from the back of the cable modem and putting it into the new router, uh, Wi-Fi router. So you wouldn't think, oh, that's not a problem, but the other one was still plugged in. It was still transmitting the SSID, which I was going to use the same SSID, so I didn't have to change everything. And I was running into credential problems and passwords and things couldn't get connected and or it'd get connected and not have the internet. And then uh, again, Alex comes over and fixes it saying, uh, and she said the following, she's sitting there in a chair with her phone and said, um, I'm connected to the old one, but there's no Wi-Fi." I went, what? Oh, 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 so the moment I, I disconnected the power from the old uh, router, then everything magically started working <laughs> and connecting very quickly too. Uh, from a perspective, the worst thing you can do to an Android device is allow it to be offline WAP. Yeah. yeah. So, Anyway, uh, what do we got here? Yeah, copper, find some gold. Oh wait, before I get too far away, good. Some coal, I could use the coal. So I have to go through and do a little bit of fine tuning on the router. Nothing bad. Um, and Alex and I are going to do some painting. Tomorrow I do another water test on the bathroom, the new bathroom.
Hey, Mason, are you still there? Hey, are you still kind of looped in with the uh, the community? You know, the, because you were you were like helping them out and whatnot and feeding them test results. And I'm wondering if they've said anything about, you know, as I'm looking at the uranium here, has anyone mentioned if they're starting to work on anything nuclear besides the battery? Just curious. I don't want to get you in trouble or anything. I'm just curious. Oh, there's gold. Need the gold. It's all shiny. I remember somebody asked, and this was quite a long time ago, asked Dean, and he said, the game isn't ready for nuclear. Uh, they have prototypes some nuclear stuff. Oh, okay. They said the game isn't ready because you'd have to have a very big base. So I'm thinking, oh, he's going to do something with waste and uh, contamination or something like that. Or the nuclear reactors are going to be huge. Yeah, that's lead, right? So I just realized why this is such a grind. I forgot I don't have the big heavy uh, hand drill. All right, this is what happens when you go from one save where you got pretty much everything to the, you know, minimum. minimum, minimum, minimum. Uh, but it's back burnered until maybe another power balance or system update. Uh, there's just not a need for much power. That's true, that's true. But, but nuclear would be really good for like Mimas. But I tell you what, um, Ben did a really bang up job using the uh, gas generator and getting us balanced between uh, solar and transferring power from one location to another. Um, Okay, let's get some more iron. Is this iron? Can't tell. Yeah. And uh I mean because uh Satisfactory is the only game I know. Oh no, I'm sorry, Satisfactory and Factorio. But Factorio doesn't do space coal. Um Factorio doesn't do anything with with uh radiation or anything like that. Well it does. You have a Oh, I'm right over there. It has the uh, used up fuel that you can recycle. But yeah, no, nothing like in Satisfactory. If you don't have an environmental suit on, whoa. You, uh, uh oh, you're coming a little short. I mean, Fallout 4 does radioactive stuff too. If you don't have a, enough rad protection. Let's turn this off. Flip the machine on. That's awesome. Sarcasm. Um, okay, let's swap this on. Let's go turn this off. And let's go ahead and do some gold. Some copper. Uranium fever, exactly. All right, so what do we got to do to finish this? First of all, let's put this to flatten. Turn that off because it bugs people. 
some iron sheets. Got those. What am I looking for? That. We need some wires. I need to eat. I do not. I need to get a new power. Oh, that eat. Yes, you're right. I ate. Thanks, Joe. Um, last. You need to eat some power. All right, that's done. Yay. All right, believe it or not, I don't have enough cable to get it hooked up. So we're gonna turn this on, make some cable. Oh, wait, you know what? Hang on, I wanna make a stacker. Oops. Oops. Oh. That's wrong way. <laughs> That's the right way. Let's get some more smelting going on here. Let's find the gold. It's iron. Thought I got more gold. Huh. Did I already smelt it? I already smelt it. Let's um, turn that off. So to make these batteries, they require steel. So I got to get the furnace online. So we're going to do our furnace over here, I think.
All right, one furnace coming up. Well, I do like not having the challenge of food, but I also, the battery, you go through the battery quite a bit. And use the night vision. Um, if I do head lamp, yeah, so I need the tool. And can I make that? Um, what's that made in? Auto light. Oh, all right. Hmm. Yeah, it, as long as they keep it up to date, it is a, a nice encyclopedia like it's supposed to be. That's for sure. All right, let's save our coal. All right, there's our furnace. We're going to put this way over here. which we got to build. Now I'm going to do the tool thing. Which requires, we can do that. Oh, did, I, did I over mouse? Did not. All right, so what do I need to build this? Get a wrench, I think. Welding torch. All right, we got a furnace, yay. Oops, pardon me. Um, oh, sun, all right, so let's I need to go get more stuff. That's taking forever. All right, that's done. Let's turn that off. Got some stuff here. Oh, oh, did it? oh, oh. oh. I thought somebody just had to go in there and manually update stuff. Turn that on so I don't forget. Almost there. That <sighs> off. We're going to put this. All right. So let's go looking for some more stuff. But guys, I'm going to take a quick bio break. So, um, let me do a save. Boom, bot. Save. 
And I'm going to dump out to the main menu here. I'll be right back, guys.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <coughs> Let's get um, game loaded back up. There's Moonbot. All right, load. Um, Raider, how you doing? Is that is that how the uh, name is supposed to be pronounced? All right, so we need to go out and get some stuff. I don't need silver. I need gold. Uh, copper, iron, I need all of it. I need it all. I wanna get the, oh, we're gonna do some furnace work, so I'm gonna need some of this stuff. Bubble gum. <laughs> All right. All right, here's a nice, ooh, some gold. Need the gold. Actually, no, if we're gonna make steel, I need iron and uh, coal. Where'd the iron go, there it is. Got to go through the copper to get to the gold. I guess not. All right. <clears throat> or uh, iron. Do, 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 do. That's nickel. Here's our chunk of coal. <clears throat> then we need three chunks of iron. Shouldn't be too hard to do. All right. sure I satisfy uh, my ratio for the steel or pick up anything else excuse me that was rude work on you guys There we go. We got everything we need for steel. Um, I would like to get um, 
some more gold. I need gold. Here's some gold right there. Hiding right there below the surface. So like I said, uh, after I do some uh, work on the house today, I'll, I'll get the lights um, mounted and get them hooked up and uh, see if I can get a decent lighting situation. Uh, I should have a green screen coming on later this week, like Thursday or Friday, so I can get that incorporated again. I don't have the uh, big wall behind me like I did before that was painted green. That made it a little bit easier. That's a little bit of gold. Um, which way do we go? That way. You see it? Hey, BJ, what's up? You mind if I call you BJ? We're, um, I'm going to attempt to do some smelting in the furnace, try to get some steel. So this is a, a test stream because I have recently moved my streaming equipment from, uh, from the place I've been streaming for the last four years to um, the new house we've been renovating for the last, well, we bought it two years ago, but October is when our renter moved out. So uh, this coming October will be one year since we've been renovating it. And uh, we're about, uh, I'm gonna say about 90% done. All right, so I've, sun's going down, so I'll be able to use the furnace. I got stuff for that, I got stuff for that, okay. Oh, there's a big hole there. Yep, yeah, it, uh, well, I moved the office today. Um, our goal is end of August to be all moved up here, sleep here, wake up here sort of thing. We still might have a little bit of stuff to move. All right, so let's go over here and turn this off, save the battery. Oh, I just picked it up. That's off. So there's the furnace. Um, what I want to do is, uh, Put that there, and I want to take, I'm going to say seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then I want seven of these. There we go, there's our fuel. So then we have one, one, two, and three. All right, cool. So I have found out that N2O likes to become a liquid. Oh, geez. Uh, it's a new phase chain. Hey, Pythos, how you doing? Long time no see. Let's see here. Let's uh, put that, that. All right, let's see if we can get the furnace fired up. First, we're gonna go with um, that. Okay, then we'll go with that. All right, then we go that. I got you. Oh, I, I completely understand. Oh. Okay. Maintaining that temperature. Should get a green light. Yeah. 
Yay, we got steel. All right, cool. I made sure all my gases are stored at about 20 degrees, 25 degrees Celsius so that they are not, so they're sort of safe. However, something is still buggy with the AC, really. Shaka, good morning. How you doing, Shaka? Um, I, I just, ooh, it's nice and warm over there. So what I want to do is uh, I should be able to, let's uh, bust this up into some chunks here. What's up, Axe? go um sup <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing here uh let's go here oh no here there all right so we need to and then we go whoa oh thought i was on fire Coils, drop those, put that back. Put the, oh, no, 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 no. Plastic. I always get stuck, right? It's not plastic. This is my first time um, doing a robot. So it's weird not focusing on uh, food. But I need to um, fire up the generator here. And get that battery charged before mine completely runs out. But what I wanted to do it. Power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so if we want the battery, that one, I need gold and steel. So here's steel and gold. I know I have some gold back here. All right. Here we go. Boing. Now I should be able to make a large battery. Yay. Well, unfortunately, so next Sunday we'll be back with Ben uh, working on, well, and we don't have anything inside that has transformers. Thanks for letting us know. And all, most of our pipes are insulated, except, um, except for uh, hang on, I'm getting distracted here. Dang it. Just looking for a blank spot. Um, except, oh, battery went dead. <laughs> um, the, uh, Everything that's an exhaust pipe, like, um, how do I say, um, you know, the, the generator, um, the uh, back pressure regulators, anything that has a waste that needs to be recirculized is not um, on an insulated pipe. That probably didn't make any sense whatsoever, did it? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's have some fun later, okay? Golden cop.
<clears throat> yeah, our base, we have one green, no, we have two greenhouses. Um, and let me ask you if you guys have had this kind of problem. I have some very basic automation that is controlling uh, some passive cooling or heating, no cooling. And sometimes I've noticed that the logic just stops working. So I'm wondering if anyone else has had a problem with their logic just not working. What I, The only fix that I've come across is, uh, is basically I have to take, if I have a, um, a batch writer or logic writer, I just have to take that out and redo it and then it usually fixes the problem. So to make the headlamp, we need gold and copper. No, I don't want to use that one. Oh, I'm back. I haven't seen that issue. Mostly switch ICs. Gotcha. I don't know how to program an IC yet. There's some copper. And... Our headlamp. Oh, that sounded weird. And trying to get a battery charged. Look at that. <laughs> cool. All right. Nice. Uh, um, um, should be able to make solar panel kits. I need copper. Yeah, the sun's up. Yeah. I figured I had to learn how to program in this game, so controlling the gases in the building was a perfect time to get started with. There you go, BJ. Nice. All right, so I'm going to make two uh, of the solar panel kits. I think two will be enough for my little base right now. And okay, let's turn this off. We're gonna see here. I want the power on this side. Then we're gonna take our wrench. Looking for 270. the glass there it is found it no um 
<laughs> the reason why I do that is I'm not very good at this game. I, I came up with an example. I saw some, that's not what I was looking for. I like separating them because when I, hang on, let me get my thoughts together here. I like separating them because when I use logic, the big, I don't have a, I don't have the IC um, enabled in this one yet. I haven't unlocked it, but when I, when I use the big eight chip to control the solar panels before I get to the IC version of it, I like separating the power and the logic. And um, that means I can branch the logic off and connect to the logic side and take the power and bring that over to an APC, so. All right, so um, we're gonna do some upgrades here. But when, when uh, I did it once on Mimus, when space was tight, so I have done it. Let's make some heavy coils. So we have copper and a little bit of gold. So let's go find any gold we have. Hey, that's okay. Put this over here. That in there. Is that all the gold I have or? Oh, look at that. Stuff to smell it. Melt. Melt. Um, what I want to do is swap out all the cable for the power to heavy into the uh, APC. One sec. Ah, got confused. Here we go. Um, Scooby Dooby Dooby Doo. Oh, I don't need that on. So let's go ahead and swap that battery. Nice. All right. Changing up my priorities. We need, okay. It's nearly the same setup. You just have the output of the batch riders going towards. Yeah. So wherever the, um, right. Wherever the power is, you send that to, I, I get it. I do. I do. I do. I do that there. Uh, unfortunately I don't have solar pointing towards everything. So, <gasps> okay. I don't want to use my last coal. So hold please. Whoa, look at me. I'm flying. That's not going to be enough to do anything. Cable, heavy. Okay, let's crank those out. Yeah, the phase changes are uh, in effect. I'm not to that point. Next Sunday, we'll see what happens with uh, the base that Ben and I have been working on, the little moon outpost thingy. Uh, let's see. Let's see how far this gets me here, real quick. Put this here. Um, take this. And we're going to swap. Oh, no, no, no. I said swap. Swap. Thank you. Okay. 
So we should be getting some from there. Okay. Heavy copper I can get. Let's connect the generator. Okay. All right, and then we'll have to make some more for that panel. So, uh, let's find some coal. My base doesn't die. Switch to digger. And that's on. All right. We just want to get coal. Base dies, it dies. It's okay. I only got 34% power, but I can swap with my headlamp. Maybe do that right now. There we go. I am a brave little robot. Yes, things have changed a lot. Uh, even things like airlocks are affected as pipes only have 10%. Oh, interesting. All right. Look at that. I can see what I'm mining now. Um. Try to find some other, some coal. Yeah, it is so weird not to have to worry about your water, your food. As long as you've got plenty of battery charging going on. I knew it. The robot invasion starts on the moon. It does. It's actually already there. How you doing, Digital? All right. So I, I want to retell my story. All right. Since there's new people here. So the um, for the last since October. Well, um, two years ago almost three years ago, March, um, we bought the house two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago, we bought the house and the first thing we had done to the house, we had all the old electrical and all the old plumbing ripped out and replaced. So instead of having copper and cast, um, cast iron, cast iron pipes, now it's all pecs. Um, except for in some key locations like uh, underneath the sink, that's still PVC and, and whatnot like that. But it's new, it's new stuff. Um, the electrical was the old, I called it rattlesnake because that's what the electricians called it. But somebody pointed out that the old two wire was called tube and something or other. So anyways, all that's gone. The house has got new wiring. Uh, it's all up to code, obviously. Um, and then October of the next year, which was last October, our, our tenant moved out. So since October, we've been doing a massive ripping out old carpet, painting, um, demoing closets to expand rooms and stuff like that. It's been a huge, uh, you know, project for, you know, do it yourselfers. So today is my first day at the new house 
streaming. So there's no camera because I didn't have time to get the camera all dialed in and my lights and stuff like that. Still looking for coal. Now I'm not lost, am I? I did turn that thing on, good. Um, and I would have to say that we're, we're about 90% of the way done. Our goal is to be moved in by the end of um, August. Hey, good morning, Saturn. How you doing? Now, yesterday, Friday night, uh, which was a, a very human night, Alex and I took most of my equipment, computers, monitors, the mounting equipment, wires, cables, I'm trying to find coal. There, there's some coal. No, that's not coal. And um, shuttled, shuttled it over to the new house. So all we had was a couple a couple that's silver that's oh i need gold um so all we had was like two pieces of furniture and uh a couple things and it shouldn't have taken more than an hour but the the hatchback to the escape stopped unlatching so we had to do it manually so that took a half an hour to figure that out and that was on the last piece of furniture too so anyways alex helped me out driving back and forth getting getting things shuttled over here that was on my, my vehicle, by the way, not hers. And then, so I had everything I needed here. I had food so I could make lunch. I had breakfast fixings. I had plenty of Dying Mountain Dew. I had power. I had television. I had internet. Everything was going good. I was taking my time, right? I was just, my base survived the change, but I saw someone who still had part of their base detonate after, oh, geez. Not looking forward to that at all, no. So I was taking my time because I wanted to dust everything off. I wanted to get everything all situated. I said, okay, so let me get my monitor stand for my for my computer. Get both my monitors set up. All the cables were labeled. So there was no mystery of that. And then once I got my computer plugged in, now because I have two monitors and a capture card, it always gets goofy with my display properties or settings, whatever you want to call it. Beans, I didn't have the streaming PC, PC hooked up. All my icons were all messed up. So I played with that for a little bit, got that all squared away. And then it got to the networking stuff. Now, um, I did not want to use Spectrum's router because you have very little control over what you can and can't do. So I, I've got a router. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to being retaught this game. That was sarcasm. All right, so I'm still looking for copper. Oh, I'm sorry, gold, a uh, coal. Here we go. Um, so is what I did is I said, okay, here's here's the here's the router, the ASUS router, which I have been using for a few years. Very familiar with it. I powered it up, make sure there's no hiccups, and uh, then I unplugged the uh, network connection between the cable modem and the Spectrum router into our router. And I, I knew off the bat I was going to probably be, I just do a factory reset. So I did that. When I restarted, I recently found out that using an Omni or a wireless battery wasn't the easiest way to keep it on. Oh, really? That's how, that's how I'm doing it. Well, it, I had about two hours of complete and utter just loss of time because I couldn't get wireless stuff to connect or it would connect and wouldn't have internet. And then sometimes it would disconnect. And I was just having all sorts of nightmares. I'm going, there can't be anything wrong with the router. I used it before. And then um, Alex came over and she was gonna, you know, give it a once over. And she said, um, I can't connect with my phone. I said, oh, okay. And I had just gotten everything connected. And, and it, it was an arduating task. It was very difficult. I made up a word. Still looking for coal. And then Alex said, oh, look, I'm hooked up to the old one, but I have no internet. And it was right there that dawned on me that yes, I unplugged the network connection, but I actually didn't unplug it. And since I was trying to reuse the same SSID and password, so I didn't even have to change everything. That's why everything was having connectivity issues because it was connecting to the old one, which is actually the new one also. So once I unplugged it, and I updated the password on everything. Everything connected without a hitch. All thanks to Alex. Alex fixed it. And I probably left out some details. I love the wireless batteries. 
uh for lower use items oh yeah 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 that's what uh ben and i have got going except for i can't find oh there's some whoa yeah we have omni all over the base and we use it for the tools i don't like using it for the arc welder though gamer circle you need a lot of pointing the obvious i know i know i know I know. That's why she's smart. She's a lot smarter than me. So anyways, everything connects. Everything's very responsive. Um, internet speeds are good over here. Um, I, I think I have... So obviously you guys can hear the audio and it sounds fine. So there's no hiccups with there. But when I was doing a test in Discord, I was having some uh, some static noise. So I'm gonna do, uh, look at that a little bit closer today. Um, in fact, Alex is over at the old house. She hasn't moved over here yet with her office equipment. So I'll be able to give her a discord test. Um, it happens to me once my router is working, but it was because I didn't, oh yes, yes. It's the important things that you plug or don't unplug. Yes. Eh, stuck. Yeah, I wanna go that way. Thank you. I want to fill up these last slots with uh, the coal. Oh, use. Why is it? it it's a uh, Murphy's law, right? Whenever you're looking for it, you can't find it. But when you don't don't want it, then it's all over the place. Oh, try the journey back home. All right, there we go. No, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'm looking for coal. Ouch. Is that coal? That's coal. dig having a headlamp you know it's like when you play the game you're so used to certain aspects but then when you're a robot and you go oh wait uh i don't have anything on my head because i'm a naked robot but i have a headlamp <laughs> it brings everything back into perspective i guess all right I see my base. My little outpost.
Oh, you know what? Hang on. There's one thing I didn't check. Did my... All right. Just making sure the stream bot actually connected. It did. Uh, seem to have lost my... Uh, there it is. Let's see. I have this little tiny solar panel that should be charging batteries. Did I leave any? I left this on. So that's a drain. Those are charged. That's got a little tiny charge. All right. So let's do, let's turn this off. Swap there. Um, turn this off. Oops. Off. No, I don't want to pick it up. Off. There we go. Let's leave that there. All right. I want to see if I can get... Um, I want to see if I can get the, um, the solar panels to track. So I'm looking for... Light sensor. I I'm going to use a very old four chip setup which i know isn't very accurate nowadays put this over here i'm gonna have to dig some more holes let me do that real quick what am i looking for no not that yeah It's not very efficient, but for two panels or three or even 10, it works just fine. And I, I don't have that many resources to print out that many chips. So four chips, which I think only uses three chips now. All right. Um, so let's get gold, gold, those smelted. Okay. I'm going to keep batteries charged. So, yes, during the day, I'm going to put in some coal. Let that do its thing. All right. So, I need uh, to swap belts. So, I need a lot of copper for cable. Which I probably don't have. I have some. Let's get the heavy cable finished. Uh, it works well with the old way if you have the sensor on the right spot. Um, yeah, the, uh, I'll have to, I think the sensor is going to be fine. There's a math unit with the old one. Oh, I need, uh, one more. Uh, the, the old one I use and I, I, um, I'll, 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 uh, I'll put everything up there so you guys see it. I don't think the math units are used anymore. I don't think I actually need that. But because I actually don't know what these things are actually doing. I, I understand solar angle and all that kind of stuff. I get that. So we got that. So I need, um, hang on, let me find the website. <sighs> Bookmark, stationers, 
simple logic. So the simple logic that I'm using is this one. It's very old. It comes from 2017. That's the one I'm using just right now. And there's probably a better one also. I need a logic reader, batch writer. So I don't think I need that math unit. So I need two of these, right? Hmm. All right. Let me... So let's turn this off. Let's go do a full stack of a uh, cable. Any more copper? I have no more copper. It's all the copper I got. And the sun's going down, so I won't even get to use them yet. Dang it. Let's see how far I can get with this. <sighs> all right, so hang on. So we're also gonna have to power this circuitry. Logic is right here. And quite honestly, with the four chip one, I'm not too concerned about separating everything. Okay. All right, so let me get this all dialed in the best. Huh. So normally we'd have the processor here, but that doesn't need to be there. Okay, we're fine, we're okay. Um, let's do this, this,
Dang. No, 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 I don't need that. Oops, sorry, hit my mic. We got all that, 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 and then this just has to, that, that doesn't have to go that way. Oh, wait. Yeah, that can, I, oh, one more. All right, and then we'll come down like that there so oh all right so let's go step by step what i need to do here with the old way of doing things all right so the logic reader input is daylight sensor nope that on no nope, turn off and our variable is going to be solar angle I knew that. Look at that. All right. Then the the memory unit needs to be set to 1.8. If I can remember how to do this. That's 100. 1. 1. 1.8. The batch rider. Math unit isn't used anymore. I know, I know. Batch rider, batch rider, here we go. Batch rider, input is logic math. Oh no. Oh, that would be logic reader. Um, output is solar panel. Then vertical. That's working, yay. All right, so now, let's go over here, turn this off as a power drain, put this away, and um, so the only thing that's going on right now is this battery is charging, oh no, that battery charger's off, so it's not draining anything, so now it is. All right, so let's see. Uh, in fact, I think this is gonna work. And then what I could do. I need copper and steel. Wait. Steel. And I believe, oh, that's all the copper we got. No, there's copper in here. Let's take this copper out. Make one more panel. Ooh, ooh, if I'm not mistaken, the first uh, battery, the big battery kit, so battery, there it is. Nice. Oh, we ran out of power. Oh, 
Sun's coming out soon. Let's turn off the boat juice. Turn off the battery charger. Oh, I need to put a frame over there. Thanks. Let's get some more heavy cable. Hey, the sun's out. Yay. And actually, to be honest with you, what I want to do is, um, input so I want this there <gasps> you gotta build these now no way oh well dang I didn't know that that's new All right. So, oh, you know what? Darn it. That means I have to use a cable. So I need to dismantle this. Darn. Is it just this? Oh, that's so cool. Look at the big batteries in there. I don't know why I got excited about that. Uh, angle grinder. Okay, that there. Now wrench. that there it's the little things really uh and a, a what i forgot there you go so now 
if we turn this on, good. But the logic's not working because it doesn't have power. Um, so what we're gonna do here is take this and put it right. There, open that up. Okay, I'm dropping tools on the moon. Crying out loud. There you go. Um, so the output, that's output, right? The output's gonna go both ways. And of course, since I don't have the right tool in my hand, dude. Dude, straight line, please. Now, if I turn this on, does that still give power? No, why? Oh, because, no? Oh, it needs power. Um, my heavy cables, here we go. There we go, so now, those are moving, nice. So only two panels are moving because that's all that's connected. And I put a battery somewhere there we go. Hang on. There we go. Then we're going to... No, I, this is a new start. I don't have any pipes yet. Uh, now, since this was a, a test stream from the new house, um, I decided to do a test stream because I didn't want to be inundated with game problems and possible network issues and computer issues. There's no camera because I didn't have time to get the camera really dialed in last night. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking our solar panel, dumping it into the big battery. Big battery's dumping it into our, uh, what's it called, APC. The APC is feeding all the devices. Now, um, get the logic. Uh, say yes, yep. And in fact, it was about eight or nine months ago. No, not even that long. I was gonna say probably about five months ago, we were having some internet issues over here. They they standed with they start they started with swapping out the in, the equipment in the house. They swapped out the cable that was in the crawl space. They swapped out the cable hey, that went from the back of the... Look at that. Jurla, thanks for the 65 months, man. Appreciate that. Musha is still watching. I know, I know. Um, so it turned out that the wire that went across what the street from that waffle? tap to this tap... MV Hank, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, had some brittle breaks. So they re once they mo removed that one, all of our internet woes seems to have magically gone away. All right, so I need uh, some more heavy cable. So yeah, same internet provider, uh, same router, same modem. And I don't think I have, I can only get two cables and I run out of copper. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. So basically, the cabling that Spectrum provides from the source across the street to the house has been replaced all the way up to the house. From the tap, I need one more, one more cable, one more heavy cable. So I need, I need to go find copper. Um, all right, so let's do put this back, grab this. Um, I don't need to be carrying this around. That around, that around. Uh, for now, can you use a small cable? I guess I could actually, yeah. Then I can replace it. Um, Moshe's, Moshe's watching, they're gonna watch me do this and they're gonna violate, I'm gonna get a, a tag. Oh, I can't, no, it won't let me. No, I can't. Uh, wait, 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 I should have copper. I have copper in here that I can take out. I'll 
Aussie 106 tail alert. What the heck? Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Maybe it did. Oh, wait. Did that not work correctly? Hang on a sec. Oops. Hang on. Oh, look at that. I got things on the screen that shouldn't be on the screen. There we go. Um, so if I go to the actual stream here, hang on a sec here. So Gamer Circle. Oh, that was just an emote. Oh, I, I haven't done their emotes. And then... There shouldn't be too many things, but what should happen here, hang on a sec here, Twitch. Okay, for some reason, oh, there it is. <laughs> hang on a sec. So there should be, as soon as it loads in, yeah, there's, I won't, let me click. There we go, and then, why is that one there? They are adding emotes that I don't want added. Oh, well, that's weird. Okay, hang on. Um, is it this one, that one? If this works. Oh, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. I did that wrong. Hang on. Oh, no, no. No. Hang on. Oh, I did that so wrong. Try that again. How come? Oh, oh, oh. That's right. Because I need to do it from. Hold, please. I know what I did wrong. I'm still very new to this. Uh, Where is it? There it is. Let's see if this works. I can't type today. There's always issues when there are no issues, then you have nothing to read. I am, of course talking about comic books <laughs> you guys hear that okay volume good enough loud enough hey okay good all right so a little muted but sounded okay all right um, let me see here. Hang on. I think I can fix that. Let me find it here. Huh. That actually is all the way. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. I need to go here. Sec. Because I think by default the volume is at 50% or something like that. We go to settings and let's crank that up 10 more percent. Maybe 85%, let's see. All right, now let's try that again. That is part of Tangia, yeah. And I, I haven't said any of this stuff. What is wrong here is that I am completely out of copper. So I was a little, a little louder. There, we'll go with ninety percent. All right. They had a five page script that you read. And I think from that, they take some of the words, but then not obviously. And then they just figure out the rest using AI, yes. 
Now, what I don't like is that it seems like they're adding interactions that I'm not looking for. Yeah, they added a whole bunch I didn't want in there. I wonder why they do that. Oh, there's a good one. Wait for it. This is a sample of what my voice sounds like. I am not real. Are you real? <laughs> That's Codsworth. That's actually pretty good. But um, there's some, I, I have to reach out to him and ask him why the ones I want are there, but other ones are showing up. I think maybe when they add new ones. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. Um, hang on one sec. I don't want. I don't want anything in here that I don't want. So that one's good. 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 That one I did not ask for, or even that one. So. Um, That's interesting. Very good. All right. I think things are bad. All right, guys, I think I'm going to stop right here. All right. I have successfully started a new save. We used the furnace. We've got some automated solar panels going on, and I haven't died. So that's pretty awesome. All right. Can you generate your own by combining effects from some? Um, I believe so. Yes. Yes, you can. And you can either use channel points or you can use uh, bits, depending upon how you set it up. So it's pretty cool. So guys, let me roll credits here and make sure my credit thing hasn't broken. Hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. Please work, please work. Oh, there it works there. Jerry, thanks for the resub. Really appreciate that. And MV Hank, thanks for the follow. Guys, I will be back tomorrow. It'll be right around the same time. Again, I'm still getting things set up over here. So guys, I appreciate your patience and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a good one.